Will the aspiring blood of Lancaster sink in the ground? I thought it would have melted. See how my sword weeps for the poor king's death. Oh, may such purple tears be always shed from those that wish the downfall of our house. If any spark of life be yet remaining, down, down to hell, and say, I sent thee thither. I that have neither pity, love, nor fear. Indeed, tis true that Henry told me of it, for I have often heard my mother say, I came into this world with my legs forward. Had I not reason, think ye, to make haste and seek their ruin that usurped our right? Well, the midwife wondered and the women cried, Oh, Jesus, you bless us, he is born with teeth. And so I was, which plainly signified that I should snarl and bite and play the dog. But since the heavens have shaped my body so, let hell make crooked my mind to answer it. I have no brother. I am like no brother, and this word, love, which Greybeards call divine, be resident in men like one another and not in me. I am myself alone. Clarence, beware. Thou keep'st me from the light, but I will sort a pitchy day for thee, for I will buzz abroad such prophecies as Edward shall be fearful of his life, and then to purge his fear, I'll be thy death. For King Henry and the prince his son are gone. Clarence, thou art next, and then the rest, counting myself but bad. Lug thy guts into the neighbor room and triumph, Henry, in thy day of doom. I rushed to the tower to kill him before my brother, who's usurped, we've taken over, yeah, yeah. is able to pardon him right. because he was wishy washy about it. It's a political it. murder, isn't it? It's a political murder. You did it on your own? Absolutely. You crept in? Snuck up, crept you, in. You took him unawares? Well, we had a conversation yeah. just prior to this. And what he knew why. He knew why I was the conversation. Um, he, uh, he, he was basically like, get on with it, you're a coward. Right. And so, how much? How. how uh, how difficult was it to kill him? Uh, I think it was... No, no, never mind about what you think. How yeah. difficult, in the text, how difficult was it to kill him? In the text, it was difficult because, in my opinion, he didn't just rush in and stab him to death. He had a conversation with him yeah. beforehand. So I imagine he still worked himself up to it. But I obviously am very this general about that. This is Richard III. Soon to be, yeah. Soon to be Richard Gloucester. Yeah. The one character in Shakespeare, apart from Iago, perhaps who actually revels in the fact that not only tells you what evil he's going to perpetrate, but he also tells you how he's going to do it, why he's doing it, and how he feels about it, which he does in this speech. I think this speech actually is, is, is superior to any of the speeches he has in, in Richard III. This is blood curdling, But nowhere in the speech do I get the impression that this was hard. This from, was a, from him. This from, was, this from, was, I'm sorry, from the writing or from... No, no, no. The, in the writing, in the text, there's no... He doesn't talk about how hard it is. I see what you're saying. He talks about how important it is. Yeah. He talks about how he feels about it. He talks about the reasons why he's done it. Yeah. His, his, his anger, his, 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 uh, his, his... What's the word? His, uh, his complete his disrespect, his, his dismissal. Yeah. I'll lug your... What do you say? I'll lug your guts. 
So he's, he's got enough energy to lug his guts into the neighbour room. Right. He's not exhausted. He's gone in there with a purpose. Wow. He's fulfilled his purpose. Okay. This is what he's doing. Yes. We have to link, otherwise it becomes generalised. Otherwise it's like, I'll get the hump, right. I'll get the withered arm, <laughs> and I'll pick up my Olivia. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, we get into a generalized area. Right. So we're thinking about why this is going. How he feels. What does he say? What's the first thing he says? He says, uh, "What uh, will the aspiring blood of Lancaster sink in the ground? Right. It will have melted." Yeah, but he's he's ridiculing him. Ah, yeah. He's ridiculing him because this is the this is the time of the divine right of kings. This is when we thought. This is when we thought that kings were anointed by God. Right. Look at you, you pathetic son of a. Look, you're just bleeding like any ordinary. You're bleeding like a pig. Yeah. Look, it's just sinking into the gravel. It's just getting soaked up by the straw and the shit. Oh yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, of course. I mean, what, you know, ascend up to heaven. No, you're just a man. We love Richard III, don't we? We love him. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Kill someone else, go on. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, rather than, now what you did was, was wonderful. I mean, I'm not, this, again, these aren't criticisms. I'm, I'm, I'm loving work you you've done. You've given, you're, you're doing some wonderful work. But let's be more, let's finesse. Let's, let's, let's go a bit deeper. Please. Enjoy this language. Grab a chair. Don't worry about that. Put the hump away. Leave the hump in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it with it on. Save it for save it for, save it for when you're at the globe. <laughs> now just just talk to us about the deliciousness of what you've just done. Now I don't mean send it out. I don't mean camp it up. I don't mean go kind of you know show off. I mean really mean it. Really think about these words. Inspiring blood of Lancaster sink in the ground. I thought it would have melted. All right, now first of all, that lovely antithesis, aspiring, sink. <coughs> you hear that antithesis? Yeah. That, com that, 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 that balance? Yeah. Beautiful language, aspiring, sink. And how that word, the aspiring, three syllables, a beautiful lyrical word, aspiring. It's got a lovely music to it. Suddenly, then undercut with sink. This kind of dank word, this word that kind of just almost smells. Yeah. Let's hear it. Yes. What will the aspiring? No, 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 no don't, don't, don't play it. <laughs> Think it. <laughs> What will the aspiring blood of Lancaster sink in the ground? I thought it would have melted. See how my sword weeps for the poor king's dead. Oh, may such purple tears be always shed. Oh, oh, is there an over there? There is a yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about going, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not a John Gielgud oh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, no. But it's a word. It's not something you've got to get over to get to the real stuff. Hmm. Take it from that line. See how my sword weeps for the poor king's death? Oh, may such purple tears be always shed from those that wish the downfall of our house. If any spark of life be yet remaining, down, down to hell and say, I sent thee thither. I that have neither pity, love, nor fear. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, in that clause, what's the climax?
time out of that clause. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah, hard work. It's great. It's, it's great. great. It's great. Um, what's, your, what's, the, what's the climax in that clause? Uh, what's the biggest thing out of that list of things that you don't have? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm obviously muddy on it. Um, the Shall I help you out of your mud? Sense. <laughs> the I sent you, did it? Fear. Fear. It's the end of the line. That's the climax of the thought. I don't. I, I feel neither this, this, nor most important of all, nor fear. Yes. I am fearless. Yeah. That's how I can do this. Because you don't scare me. This doesn't scare me. I'm in my element. Yeah. Now, what would happen if that's the if we agree that that's the climax of the thought? What would happen if you drive the dialogue into the climax of the thought instead of breaking it all up? If any spark of life be yet remaining, down, down to hell and say, I sent thee thither, I that have neither pity, love, nor fear. I stop, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's okay, don't worry, don't beat yourself up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yes. you, hear, you hear it? I got on the road and I got excited. Yeah. I said, I'm not <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> what's, what's the line immediately after fear? What's the line? Uh, you know, indeed, it is true that Henry told me of. Yeah, now that's a shifting gear, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> isn't yes. It? Yes. Suddenly you're going from how you're feeling about this immediate moment to a thought about what happened a while back. Right. Yes? Am I right? Yes, absolutely. What do you say, indeed? It is true that Henry told me how. What did he tell you? For I have often heard my mother say I came into Yeah, the suddenly you go into this, suddenly he, he's got, he's so relaxed. <laughs> he's so at home in this, <laughs> up to his ankles in <laughs> blood and shit. <laughs> totally at home. He's got the time to kind of think about something his mother wants. <laughs> he's, having like, he's having a little reverie. <laughs> so you, hear, you hear it. I'm not making this up. I'm not pulling this out of my ass. This is the same thing. You hear it? Yes. But you have to earn it. Shakespeare gives you the right to earn it. You build up to that one with that, oh, what a line. I, I neither have no, 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 something, something, nor fear. And that sweetness, the sweetness of that indeed, it counterpoints all the ugliness, all the violence of what went before. Words like blood, purple, sword, mm. down. Yeah. All, those, all those violent words, suddenly he's got this little reverie, this little moment of reflection, indeed. <laughs> and, that's, and that's such a benign word. Yeah? You see what Shakespeare's doing? What does he say, indeed? Indeed, it is true that Henry told me of. Yeah, and it even gives you this wonderful little clause where he can't, can't quite believe it himself. <laughs> Indeed, it is true. Bloody hell, he was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. That's right, because my mother told me something. Do you know what I'm saying? It's the variety, the language is alive, the, the thoughts are alive and they're all happening at the same time. It's, it's as if Shakespeare's reaching back 500 years and saying, Adam, don't generalise. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Will. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's do, do it one more time. Let's see if we can discover it. Any spark of life be yet remaining? Down, down to hell and say, I sent thee thither, I that have neither pity, love, nor fear. Indeed, it is true that Henry told me of. For I have often heard my mother say, I came into this world with my legs forward. Had I not reason, think ye, to make haste and seek their ruin that usurped our right? And the midwife wondered and the women cried, Jesus, you bless us, he is born with teeth. And so I was, which plainly good, signifies. Good, 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 good. You see, he, and even within that, he has that reverie, then he goes back again. <laughs> then he has another reverie, then he goes back. Great writing. Very nice work.